Hey there lovely person watching YouTube, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ajay, I'm a doctor from Bangalore, India. So here's the thing, I don't like studying, I don't hate it, I just don't enjoy it the way some people do. People like Ali Abdal do. But I had to study a lot. First for medical entrance exams and then I got into one of those medical schools where really smart and really hardworking students attended and these people studied for 6, 8, 10 hours every day, especially a few months before the exams. I could study for like 2 hours max but I had to compete with these people. So I figured out ways I can study longer, cover more units without you know completely hating my own existence and today I want to share those with you. I'll describe these ideas in detail in the video, what you need to do, the things you shouldn't be doing and at the end I'll share an easy checklist that you can use to ensure that you are studying effectively for long hours if you just put in a bit of an effort. Now don't worry this doesn't involve anything weird like getting up super early like 5 o'clock in the morning or um, you know giving up Instagram or giving up video games or living alone in a cave nothing weird like that. These are just simple and easy ideas that make a big difference. Of course you'll have to put some effort into it it's not a magic pill that I'm selling but it actually works and it's easy to follow. So hop on and let's go. Like I said, don't worry, I'm not going to be asking you to get up like super early in the morning before sunrise, study and reach like the next dimensions or something. I mean, early mornings are pretty sweet, like there's no one to bother you, the birds are singing outside. It's pretty sweet to study if you're a morning person. But if you're someone like me, you would have noticed that getting up in the morning early doesn't really work for you. And that's completely fine. What you should be doing is get up at the time that is most comfortable for you. For me, it is anywhere between 6.45 a.m. to 7.15 a.m. For you, it might be 6 a.m. or 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. It doesn't matter. Ali Abdal is a very productive guy. He studied medicine at Cambridge. He manages two, three companies. He has a huge YouTube channel and an empire built around it and this guy gets up at around 8 or 9 a.m. So getting up early might not be the key to getting your success. Getting up at the right time for you might be the key to your success. Now get adequate sleep. 8 to 9 hours is ideal. Don't oversleep. If you oversleep you'll feel groggy. Now fix a wake up time and very importantly get up at that time every day irrespective of what time you went to bed the previous night. Now once you get up, this is important, don't do anything that requires comprehension and cognition. That is, don't do something that requires you to think a lot or to understand something. So no unlocking the phone to read messages, no scrolling through social media or reading the newspaper. We'll get to when you can do that in just a bit. If you want to pee or poo, do it, brush your teeth, have your breakfast, take a shower. And then once you're done with all the morning routine activities, sit and read your study material for some time. Let reading slash studying be the first activity of the day that requires cognition and comprehension. So what this does is that it makes our brains think that studying is the default cognitive function for the day instead of something like you know replying to texts or uh, reacting to news events. Now if you're a morning person who feels really fresh in the morning you can start studying the study material for your day in full gear but if you're someone like me who takes time to get up and get charged I find just reading some light study material or revising what I studied yesterday help quite a lot. So that way I'm not pushing my brain early in the morning and burning myself out when I don't want to study but I am reading and I am putting my brain into a study mode. Now if you really have to check texts or replies to your Instagram uh, DMs or the news or something like that, make sure you have studied for at least 20 to 30 minutes and then maybe you can check but for greater results try to push it as late as possible. I actually don't check my phone at all till evening when I'm seriously studying and this actually works. Right. It might be a bit difficult in the beginning because you're used to you know checking your phone in the morning first thing in the morning but try doing it for a few weeks you'll see a great difference trust me and at this point more importantly there's one thing that you really need to do if you're liking the video till now smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now this concept comes from the book Make Time written by John Zeratsky and Jake Knapp. So basically a highlight for the day is that thing which if you finish in that day, 
you've sort of achieved the goals for that day of course studying is not the only thing you're going to do in the day you still have to deal with life you have to go grocery shopping do the dishes you have to play video games play with your friends stalk your ex on instagram a lot of things to do but these things will happen alongside your studying and they don't need any particular attention so make studying for x hours and completing x units the highlight of your day write it down in the morning you can write it on some sheet of paper or on the checklist that i provided i think this checklist is quite useful so make sure you use it every day somehow weirdly when you do this that is choose studying as a highlight of the day and you finish it you feel much more satisfied and empowered you know compared to having studying as one of the five or six things that you do in the day i don't know how this works but it works so write down highlight of your day in the morning and it sets the right tone for the rest of the day so what does newton's first law state an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion in the same direction with the same speed unless acted upon by an external unbalanced force and that's true for studying as well so imagine day 1 you study for 2 hours day 2 you study for 2 and a half hours and day 3 you study for 3 hours don't get overwhelmed uh, set your own pace i'm just giving you an example and on day 20 you get to 8 hours just imagine and now you want to keep this 8 hours studying every day just the act of doing this day after day sets the momentum and makes it really easy for you to do it every day the reason is simple and fairly logical your brain is like a computer it has deeply situated things like memory kind of like your memory drive and then a surface processing unit for everyday tasks that you are currently doing kind of like your ram so let's say you're playing the piano at that time this surface processing unit will have to load musical knowledge and musical skills and finger coordination to the surface processing unit similarly if you're playing chess it has to load critical thinking and finger movements again same way for studying it has to load cognition reading writing listening etc so the more often you study the more easier it becomes to bring up these skills to the surface component when you start studying and by building momentum and having studying for 6 hours or 8 hours or 10 hours as you highlight for the day it makes the brain load this study surface component as default every day this is how people study for so long you see all these people preparing for competitive exams board exams study for like long hours for like an entire year or sometimes 2 3 years they're not super human they're not like overly talented or something they're just regular people like you and me they have just built up momentum using these principles and studying has become second nature to them it's it's a very easy thing for them so the place where you study matters quite a lot find your ideal location find your sweet spot i personally like studying in the library and i've always noticed that when i study in the library i study 2 to 3 hours more than studying at home when you're in a library and people all around you are studying you kind of trick your brain into thinking look all of these people are studying i can too this is absolutely the normal thing to do it kind of puts your brain in a competitive mode however going to the library in the current situation is probably not a great idea or you may just prefer to sit and study at home either ways you can recreate this sense of competition by playing one of the study with me videos on your computer or on your phone when you're studying this sort of recreates that competition and it also makes you feel someone else is studying so your studying feels a little bit less painful also having a regular place to sit and study helps if you do one activity in a place repeatedly your brain associates that place with that activity and the surface component for that activity gets activated right when you just go and sit there for me every time i just go and sit in the library my mind says okay time to study now training your mind is kind of like training your dog okay now you've set up a good momentum and you're studying well great but if you don't learn how to manage your distractions you'll never get to keep that momentum running say you are in the zone and you're studying really well and you get a notification on your phone maybe your ex uploaded a picture on instagram or someone called you dumb on youtube suddenly your mind is a bit of a mess you go and you check that notification and then you reply to it 
and without knowing you end up scrolling through Instagram or YouTube or Twitter and before you know it you would have spent like an hour doing this we have all been there this happens to me as well but when you do this and you come back to studying you'll have to struggle to get that momentum back again so how to deal with this first understand what your distractions are most distractions in our lives these days are digital and the most common one is our phone notifications so turn off these notifications at least when you're studying or put it on do not disturb mode don't worry you are not missing out on anything important and if there's something really important people can always call you once you're done studying you can go back and check the notifications 99.9% of the times you wouldn't have missed anything important however if you're expecting an important message or an important email in that day you can probably check once in a while tell your friends to call you if there is an important message or an important notification in your class whatsapp groups or slack groups i have disabled all notifications on my phone i can study and work without getting disturbed it honestly feels great when you're studying and you feel tired or saturated or if you take regular breaks because you're following the pomodoro technique what you do during the breaks matters a lot the idea of taking a break is to rest your brain so that it can produce the neurotransmitters and the other chemicals required for studying let's just call all of these brain juice so in the break if you're scrolling through instagram or facebook you're not allowing your brain to make brain juice in fact you are actually draining it now scrolling through social media might feel great at that moment but remember you're draining your brain juice it's kind of like having lots of sugar candies when you have it you feel great and energetic but in half an hour you feel terrible so how should you spend your breaks do things that don't require much of brain activity you know like look outside the window look at the wall we all do that anyway when we are studying speak to friends go out take a walk get fresh air In fact, I feel going for a walk is like the best thing you can do to rejuvenate yourself, especially when you're studying. And here's a pro tip for the breaks. When you're like really tired or really saturated, go and wash your face with cold water. It kind of works like a reset button and you can come back and you feel much fresher and you can smash through the next session of studying. So once you finish the highlight of your day, that is studying, treat yourself. Do what you love doing. tell yourself dude you are amazing today you did a lot of work so let's go and have super duper fun the treat can be anything you love doing it can be listening to music it may be you know checking memes on instagram or uh, going out for a ride anything you love doing i personally like playing cricket or badminton with friends or going to the gym that way i'm feeling great i also get a good exercise or sometimes i just watch a movie or a tv show so what this does is that it strengthens a positive feedback loop in your brain that thinks hold on if i study for x hours and complete x units today that means i can have fun after it hmm so your brain actually looks forward to studying every day because once you study your brain knows that it's going to get a treat training your brain is kind of like training your dog now those were the points to get maximum results from this video make sure you use the checklist so this checklist is fairly simple but the act of writing this down every day on a piece of paper makes your brain prioritize what is important so enter the date and then write the highlight for the day it could be studying for like 2 hours and complete 2 units or study for 10 hours and complete 8 units anything for that day then you just tick through the things you got right during that day at the end point number 10 uh, there's this how focused was i today give yourself a rating out of 5 be very honest this exercise just helps you become better and better every day so you don't have to lie no one is going to see this if you had like really crappy uh, attention that day give yourself a one star that's completely fine and here in things that worked write down the things that worked well for you that day um it could be something like i studied 8 hours without any distractions why it worked because i disabled notifications on the phone i didn't get any distractions so i could you know study longer and here in things that didn't work well it could be something like i got distracted one hour into studying and then i wasted time you know scrolling through instagram and right next to it you provide the reason why it didn't work out and how can i do better tomorrow the reason it didn't work out is probably because you didn't have notifications turned off or you just wanted to check your phone 
So how can you do it better tomorrow? You can turn off notifications on your phone tomorrow and make a conscious effort not to check your phone when you're studying. Again, these are just examples. Customize it according to your day. I know that filling this feels like extra work, but think about this. This only takes five minutes to do and it helps you figure out what worked for studying that day and what didn't work for you that day. And with that, you can plan tomorrow's session better and you can improve every single day. If you can optimize the six to eight hours you study every day by just doing this small exercise for five minutes every day, I think it's quite worth the time. I'll link the checklist in the description down below. It'll be a Google Drive link. You can just download it, get it printed and then take photocopies of it or you can just write it down on a piece of paper yourself. So that's it for today. I do have many more ideas and tips for studying and productivity and things like that, but I couldn't include all that in this video or it would be like an hour long. So if you don't want to miss those videos, make sure you subscribe and click on that bell icon thingy next to it. What it means is that you'll get a notification every time I upload a video, you'll get it on your computer or your phone or your tablet, wherever you watch YouTube. If you really like this video, make sure you share it with your friends on social media and on class groups and make sure you make good use of the checklist that is in the description. Happy studying and I'll see you in the next video.